hide Chris Rock because this thing hits harder than Will Smith. The Vasto Incarnate is going to be one of the strongest secondaries to pick up when it comes to single target focus. And oh boy, oh boy, is that no overstatement. So grab your cowboy hats because this is going to get wild. Wesley Wild. Let's jump into what you need to know. Where do you get the Vasto Incarnate from? The very paradox, Steel Path, the Circuit Game Mode. Every week there are five rotating weapons that you can select from, and with that, you can choose only two of them per week. Vasto is available, so go get it. What does the evolve shot look like? From a semi single shot, the Vasto evolves into a six round burst, absolutely shredding anything in its path. Although the ammo economy isn't great because you can only do a couple of burst shots, it doesn't really need to be if you're focusing the evolution for the sole purpose of removing an enemy from the map permanently. What evolution should you take? All right, so there's two different routes I would advise, but first, let's break this thing down. Evolution one, this is always given to you. Land your headshots to evolve your weapon during combat. Evolution two, increase your damage by 24 and with no primary weapon equipped, gain an extra 40 damage added on with an increased magazine capacity of 10. Or increase your damage by 24 and whenever you swap to Vasto after swapping from a primary weapon, you gain a 30% critical chance and an 80% critical damage damage increase for three seconds. So the first option should be as self-explanatory as possible. If you're looking to use only the Vasto with no primary weapons equipped, then the damage increase is a good choice to go and select here. However, the second option is honestly too good not to take. This Vasto turns into an executioner weapon. Quick switching over to it and finishing off enemies is definitely the route that I would take, especially with the bonuses that it provides. Evolution three. Increase your magazine capacity by six, gain better to recoil whenever you shoot or reload your weapon over time whenever holstered. So as like the majority of incarnate weapons, when evolved, the magazine capacities do not affect the evolved transmuted state. So the first option here is more of a quality of life purpose. For me, the second option is arguably the best quality of life guns can usually benefit from. I always love having better control, especially when trying to aim for specific enemy hitboxes for bonus damage like headshots. And the third option is always a niche one. You never rule this out. And on a switch weapon like the Vasto Incarnan, it pairs dramatically well with the previous choice in Evolution 2. And finally, Evolution 4. Increase your critical chance by 18%. Increase both your critical and status chances by 10%. Or on headshot, gain a 100% ammo efficiency buff for two seconds. So these first two options in here are self-explanatory so these first two options in here are self-explanatory you don't really need me to go and break them down but personally i would go and choose these options after looking at my weapon mods and my weapon build first because these two options here can be used to fill in or used to bump you up into new tiers if possible so in my opinion it's better to look at them that way round as for the third option, Reaper's Plenty. Now, this is genuinely great if you are looking to use the Vasto for more general gameplay. This is where the routes split off, in my opinion. So it's your choice. Do you want a general clearance build for any mission you enter and clear enemies single-targetly, but with quality of life like ammo efficiency? Or do you want to absolutely burst them and nuke them with your gun? What build should you take? So because of those evolutions, I am going to show you ideas for two different build paths. One for the burst Vasto with the the evolve shots and the other one for a general vasto without the evolve shots but with quality of life so we'll start off with the burst vasto build and remind you that it is for single target using this for enemies like bosses mini bosses archons liches sisters and even demolists start off by pointing out the obvious damage multi-shot criticals these are going to be your core mods to work with bumping up your dps output and adding to that overall quick nuking experience these will also pair with the critical choices if you took them in your evolutions now, as for your elements, well, it depends on how you want to take this. You can go for corrosive or radiation for bonus damage to enemy armor, but if you're running any kind of armor strip in warframes or melee weapons, then I would advise you to go for viral and complement it with either slash or heat. And if you can pop it in, a faction mod's going to amplify that double dip in and take it further, adding dots left over to your six round burst shots is only but complementary. Arcanes that I would take with burst in mind would be arcanes like Cascadia Accuracy, Cascadia Flare, Cascadia Overcharge, or potentially even Secondary Kinship. It just depends on what I have available at the time with my Warframes. These arcanes should be easier to get their buffs from, which can fit into that quick burst damage that you're looking for. Or you can go for the general route with Vasto. Although it's still single target, this route doesn't really focus in it. Or you could go for the general route with Vasto. Although still single target, this route doesn't really focus 
on evolving and transmuting the weapon. I mean, you can still do it during your gameplay, but it's not really the point because you're looking to move and kill. I would take this in missions like Exterminate, for example. Again, it's going to be a very similar build path, but since we are taking the Evolution 4 ammo efficiency perk, this build is all about headshots as well as general usage. So with that in mind, the bigger change here is to complement the weapon with a mod such as like Galvanized Crosshairs, or even using its lower counterpart if you don't quite have the Galvanized version yet. As for the Arcanes, I feel Deadhead works best in combo fitting for what you're wanting to gain from this build, since after all, it's headshot focus. But even other Arcanes such as Merciless or Cascadia Flare will also fit in really well to this build. They should hopefully go and proc easily because you're always on the move, always fighting new targets and enemies, and hopefully you're always killing them. So these will also go ahead and pop in. So there you just about have it. The Fasto is a killing machine, and it adds to our arsenal as a great meta weapon to grab this week. But please remember, it's not to be looked at as a horde killing weapon. No, no, no. Don't you be doing that, you filthy little. So guys, what weapons did you guys take this week? And how have you been finding them in comparison? I heard that the Ack and Brunt seems pretty interesting, but I don't know much more about it. Now I will have a follow-up video with the Bursting right after this one, as that was my second selection this week. So if you're interested in checking that out, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and come join us. But as always guys, I appreciate all of the support and I will see you guys again in the next video.